Ah, Connor. Hello again. What brings you to Boston? You. Would you excuse us, fellows? Thank you. That conversation was about to turn unpleasant. Now, what can I do for you? I was hoping you could help me locate William Johnson. Of course. I'm headed to a meeting with some men who should be able to help. Why don't you come along? Well, it's good to see the people finally taking a stand against injustice. Says the man who owns a slave. <laughs> Ooh, sorry? I practice what I preach, my friend. She's not a slave, but a freed woman, at least on paper. Men's minds are not so easily turned. It's a tragedy that for all our progress, still we cling to such barbarism. Then speak out against it. We must focus first on defending our rights. When this is done, we'll have the luxury of addressing these other matters. You speak as though your condition is equal to that of the slaves. It is not. Tell that to my neighbor who is compelled to quarter British troops, or to my friend whose store was closed because he displeased... Hey! It's my home, no matter what you thieves called taxmen say! If the gums in Parliament who want to take my property, you tell them to sail across the pond and take it themselves! It's not open for discussion now! Open this door or these men will break it down! Ah! The bollocks! We're coming in! Ah! Oh! Trust the mounting evidence is proof enough, Connor. Continue on. I shall meet you at our destination. for once. I dare the governor to send more. <clears throat> you all right? I'm fine. It's not my first dance. For all their teeth and claws, these little foxes, they fight like puppies. <laughs> Thank you, my friend. I'd buy you a nail, but uh, I'm expecting somewhere else. Connor, I'd like you to meet some like-minded friends. The owner of this fine establishment, William Molyneux, and the manager and chef of his newest venture, Stéphane Chaffaut. Ah, Connor and I just had a ball uh, with some red coats and forcing some tax men outside my home. The collectors grow bolder and more forceful. Something we must address, Samuel. Then let us raise a banner. 
Something to let the people know that they are not alone. The docks are an angry place of late. Protesters picketing the latest shipments of British tea. The eyes of the city are upon that stage. A Bostonian without his tea is a dangerous beast. William Johnson is smuggling the tea off the ships. One of his men tried to sell me this. A sample of what I refused. But it's from those ships. No mistaking the stamp. He's charging a king's ransom. Must be he's making a mint off those who buy it. Where is he now? I've never met the man. May I ask why you seek him, Connor? He intends to purchase the land upon which my village stands, without the consent of my people. No doubt the revenue from his little smuggling endeavor is financing the acquisition. A tax enforced on tea grants a boon to smugglers. I'll wager the same men who levy the taxes are selling the tea. A stage requires a spectacle, and I may know the play. Connor, head back to the docks and see to the destruction of the tea. If you should need us, return here. Hello, Connor. That tea is being illegally smuggled all around Boston by Johnson's men. If you see any crates in transit, perhaps you could put a stop to the delivery. And those moody tax collectors are still at it. They could use a lesson or two, huh? Pardon me. Oh, come on, mate. What's your game, you prat? This adult
Desist, sir! Don't hurt me, please. I'm nothing to you. to get away from here.
time I was that deep in the cup. Take your last. Stefan, what is wrong? Where is Sam Adams? I've been robbed! Pour me payer ces scélérats de merde! Where are you going? To get back what's rightfully mine! To me. I've listened for long enough. They come into my home and take my things? 
I will get my revenge. The man responsible for this will pay. His friends will pay. Voilà trop longtemps que je subis ces affronts. Ils vont goûter de mon cou. There is a way to fight injustice, but this is not it. you want me to tell Johnson his tea just spontaneously combusted? Nonsense. Someone's responsible for this, and you will find out who. And if you can't, I'll gut you and find a smarter mongrel who can. What do we do? Create a window. Bloody hell are you? Ah! <laughs> Why? You have no right to rob people blind. By decree of the British Parliament or not. British Parliament? I work for William Johnson. Johnson? And his suffering cleanly. Please. for you what are the things you lost the people listen to me only because I spoke the truth loud enough which is worth 1,000 times the content of my footlocker the English they can keep my things you did well tonight I said I'd buy you an ale when you first helped me in place of drink I offer you my allegiance for what it's worth your aid is welcome and I am grateful now I need to find Sam Adams Goods, 
Salt, another sun is available in Salt from Salt. The city's best price is guaranteed. Stefan, how is your ale? Peace, but it gets the job done. My father would be disgusted, but after a day's work with you, a man needs to unwind. I would prefer a nice bottle of wine, but these colonies lack refinement. Your father? Mon père. He was a great man. A cook in the French army during the Seven Years' War. He marched all across the White North, feeding Louis-Joseph de Montcalm and his officers, cooking them feasts from sticks and berries. When the commander-in-chief opted for open conflict over manning the battlements of Quebec, every man was called to arms, including my father. He died on the field. But I'm told he fought ferociously. It matters little. He's gone now. He would be proud of you. This is my one hope, that he smiles upon the choices I've made. Connor, do you have time to sit? I do. Good. I have been meaning to ask you. How did you come to Alsace? I did not ask for it. But I feel it was meant to happen. I was just a boy when I met Achilles. He made me a warrior. <laughs> is that easy? I miss the kitchen, if you can believe it. I had more control in that world than I ever will in the one we inhabit. But more people get to taste the fruit of my labor in this line of work, and for that, I am satisfied. We may change things yet, if we press on. Frenchmen from the North never grow weary. Just ask the women! <laughs>
but Governor Hutchison refuses to let them be. Wants us to take the tea, pay the duties, and say thank you kindly to the king. The king can kindly kiss my ass. You'd like that, wouldn't you? You can kiss it as well. Enough! What hope have we of resisting if we're arguing amongst ourselves? What happens now? We wait for the signal. What signal? This meeting can do nothing further to save the country. That one. Evening, gentlemen. Shall we be off? No. What's the matter? I have spent today drawn from one bit of madness to another with nothing to show for it. Before I go any further, I would like to know exactly what it is you intend. Of course. First, we make our way to Nathaniel Bradley's house to fetch the rest of our little group. Then it's on to Griffin's Wharf, where we board the ships and dump the tea. Simple as that. Simple seems a bit charitable. Cheer up, Connor. For tonight, we are all victors. The Sons of Liberty get to send a message to England, and you rob William Johnson of his financing. Your village will be saved. I've an idea. Why don't you lead the way? That should keep us out of any further trouble. Am I right? Damn it, more guards. We need to turn the crowd's anger to our advantage. Say the world, Connor, and I will make it so. We need to keep those bastards at bay while the tea is being dumped. Let me help. I'm yours to command.
Connor? We saved the last one for you. We get out of here, huh? I'll get him!
not consent to this. Go home. You're a great man. Leave me be! I never agreed to be a soldier. Good of you to help. But these recruiters are relentless. Somebody stop that man! My back for now. I thank you for that.
and then about it. Same. Welcome to the regulars, the most feared, respected, and revered fighting force on God's green earth. Some of you are here by choice, others not. Regardless of the circumstances of your joining us, you are all brothers now. And the only way you have a chance of surviving is if you trust your brothers. One weak link can kill a whole squad on the field. I want you to think about that long and hard. That's one of them that's responsible for this. Rounding up the young ones and shipping them off. We need to put an end to it. What is your plan? Uh, kill him, then the rest, and set all them boys free? It's a good plan, but it lacks detail. How is your aim with that rifle? You can pop a muskrat's head from a quarter mile nine times out of ten, and the ten's a misfire. That should do. Cover me from up there. be getting on that ship and setting off for a different sort of training. Understand? You've been selected, not for your talents or fighting prowess, but... Double tight. We assassins strive for peace through freedom, and the Templars, they want only to control. Well, I'm for freedom, I know that much. If your order needs a good rifle, sign me up. You do not partake? No, sir. I need to stay sharp in case you call upon my rifle. Spirits do me in right quick. Drank half a flask of rum out in the bush with my brothers a few years back. I went for a run in the buff before I found myself rolling around in deer scat being sick all over. I don't want to go there again. No, thank you. Smart choice, given the circumstances. I want to fight like you someday. You have everything it takes to be a great assassin. And that means something coming from you. Where did you learn to shoot like you do? Ranging with my dad and brothers in Virginia country. My family's been surveying and prospecting out there since my grandpappy. How did you end up here? I'm the youngest of four brothers. I was always going to be a runner-up with them. So I set off alone to do my own business. Out west of Ohio's territory that no man of the colonies ever trodden. I figured I could find contracts out of New York. Then the war started. And you sided with the Patriots? Not really. My family's for the King. I just don't like seeing boys forced to fight against their will is all. But I know that I want to be free. For all to be free. If that means I'm a Patriot, I guess I am. You are an assassin. Nothing else. That I am. I'm proud of it. Come drop your anchor in a 